Of life, I shall you so don't scatter ground for Bodo Ibo. Hey, 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 my people, my people, I greet you now. Welcome on to this our channel. Una no say as they happen now, so we can summer on now with the latest update like this. This is our fearless mama, Asha Yusuf. Don't do what she shall be doing again, no. Mama, we know the door. She get this national press conference for Washington, D.C., eh? Where she talks, say, we na Nigerians, we na citizens, we not be slaves. She talk plenty, plenty matter, join, no. As they hurt. Anyway, make I, make I live, on. Make I watch this video. Make I watch this video. I don't want to watch them. I want to watch them, watch them, watch them. they come? Watch the video. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. We are citizens. We are not slaves. We are citizens. We are not slaves. No matter what they try to make us to be, we know we are citizens. And we continue to demand for our rights as citizens. I'm standing before you today as a Nigerian, as an active Nigerian. In Nigeria, who believes that we need a nation where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody. In Nigeria, where no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigeria. Over the years, we've kept quiet, we've moved on, we've never participated. And some few people have taken it upon themselves and they think they have the power. They do not have the power. Because like indeed he said, the power belongs to the people. We are citizens. The office of the citizen is the highest office in the land. The office of the president is the highest political office in the land. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the office of the citizen is the number one office. And we are citizens of our country. We came out, we voted. We did all that was supposed to be done. Nigerian citizens did the needful. But guess what happened? There were for some people who think that Nigeria belongs to them and they tried to steal the mandate of the people. We must not allow those who do not have any respect for our nation continue to steal from us again and again and again. They have given themselves the illusion of power, but today we have seen that indeed they have nothing yes. other than toggery, other than violence, other than bloodshed. There is nothing that they have. The Nigerian people prove that. They say to us that our votes do not count. And the citizens, on the 2023 election, they decided to come together and participate in the process. And did you see what their participation did? It changed its trajectory. And it has done that forever. Yes. The illusion of power that they have given to themselves, that they have made themselves to believe that they own Nigeria for over six decades. We have sat down doing nothing. Our parents allowed themselves to be enslaved. We have allowed ourselves to be enslaved. Our children will not be enslaved. Amen. Our children will not be enslaved. That we have a nation that they all can be proud of. That they can walk anywhere in the world and go along with their green passport or whatever passport they decide to add to it and be proud that they are Nigerians. Our children are all over the country. We have rendered our own children stateless by our own action, by our own silence. They are wandering all over the world. They are looking for countries that they can call their own. When we have an amazing country that God has given us, and we should have to go. Enough of the individual achievements. Enough of the individual goals that we are, we are reaching, the heights we are reaching. It is time for our collective achievement. As individuals, we know Nigerians, we are great people, amazing people, creative people, intelligent people. Yes, indeed. But as a nation, yes, indeed. we're still down. So we must take ourselves up. And this is a call to the International Committee and the Committee of Nations. That the things they do not accept in their countries, they must never accept it in our own country. Yeah, yeah. We have seen some countries who have come out to congratulate some, as someone who got the INEX mandate. By the way, the people's mandate must be given to the person the people chose. Yes. What someone has right now is the INEX mandate. Yes. And there were some countries that were willing to come out and congratulate such a flawed process. We, we, are not, we do not care who it is 
that is voted for as long as it is the choice of the people and it is done under free, fair, credible election. Mm -hmm. Then whatever choices that people make, we will accept yes. those choices because they have a right to choose wherever they want to choose. Mm -hmm. But in a situation where the election is not credible, where it's flawed, where people are, are killed, a lady went to, to vote and she was attacked. And she went to the hospital. She patched herself up and she came back and she voted. Mm -hmm. That is the Nigerian spirit. Yes. Yes. Her blood was dripping on her ballot paper and that's the election. The representative of, of a certain country say that we should accept that it's fascinating. No, it's not. We're being killed because we just come out to, to just do what we need to do, our civic duty. That must not be the Nigerian story. We have a nation that we all can build. A nation, like I said earlier, where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing yes. anybody. Yes. And let's not look at people who have gone through the ranks, who have gotten into position, have taken it upon themselves, and are, are now holding Nigerian ransom as they are the representative of children of nobody. No, they are not. They are not the somebodies who are denying the nobodies the opportunity to grow. We have a nation, an amazing nation, and we all must stand and fight for it. Giving up is not an option. Giving up is not an option. No the good must be more tenacious than the evil. Yeah. We have given up again and again and again and we have moved on. And that's the reason why they continue to do what they do. At this moment, no retreat. No surrender. We are fighting for our nation. The 2023 election was election for survival. Right. And Nigerians came out and they put in their all. Right. And I will run over by saying to Nigerians in diaspora, you contribute so much to the economy of Nigeria. Yes. Right. You have over 4% oh. of the GDP you contribute to the nation. Yes. Right. But you have zero political power. Right. And that must change. Yes. If, your if your money is good enough for Nigeria, yes. your political power should also be good enough for Nigeria. Right. You will not see that we will not see that I'm Nigeria living in Nigeria, and we sit that back home, we call you and tell you to send money to us, then you're, you must have that political power also. And everything that must be done to ensure that no Nigeria, anywhere, any, any place in the world is disenfranchised, we must do that. And by the way, the judiciary, that some people think they own. We must let them know that we are the people of Nigeria. Indeed, we own everything. And that judiciary, we are going to put the spotlight on all of them. Yes. Every judge. We will put the spotlight on you. Nigerians have never taken their activism to the judiciary. We face the executive, we face the legislative arm. This is the time for us to face the judiciary. And they must do the needful. They must ensure that the judiciary becomes the last resort of the common man right. and not that of corrupt politicians. Thank you. Just in delay. Just in delay. Now the video be that to now make Ninja better we all do. May the right person come on board. Now we they pray for two. Anyway, my people, make una drop on a comment on, on how on a siam. Make una like and make una share. Make una share this video. I beg. Make you wish on a village put them so that they will know what it they happen. On a do well. See you all in our next video. Bye. DJ TV. DJ TV.